G'day folks. In my last video I tried to answer a viewer's question, can you get ground parting inserts? Now as a result of that video, Festive Jelly commented that he uses an MGMN200-G AK10 for aluminium insert. Now the only insert I could find with that designation looks very much like this one. I have some of these so I thought we'd look into it a bit further. There's no AK in the designation but on the back of the pack there is an N which means it's for aluminium. How about we look at a standard turning insert and then look at an insert for aluminium. So here's a standard moulded insert, not terribly sharp but pretty good for a moulded insert but that's what an aluminium insert looks like. Now I think most folks will be able to see that this is actually a totally different animal to the moulded insert that is used for steel. Here's what you might call a standard parting insert from eBay. It's uh, got a P on the back of the pack, which you'll see in a moment, and that means it's for steel. Here you can see the P on the back and the data that's given for using this insert for cutting steel. Now here's that insert again that I showed at the beginning which is an insert for aluminium. To me, to be honest, it just looks as though it's been polished until it's absolutely blunt. Right now here you can see the N on the back of the pack which confirms it's for aluminium. Here's the two inserts side by side. I'll be honest, I wouldn't use the one on the left doesn't matter what I was trying to cut I would use the one on the right in preference to the one on the left. To me it just looks as though it's been polished to death and completely blunt. Now this is a ground insert. In the designation code the third letter is a G instead of an M as in both those previous inserts. Now this insert is ground. It's not polished but it's ground and it's the one I would prefer to use for aluminium. In the side view of this insert it has about 13 degrees of rake which is not bad for a small machine. Now all this is just my opinion and you've got to remember I'm a draftsman who has a half horsepower CNC lathe I don't claim to be a machinist. If I can find the time I would like to try and do a comparison video of these inserts and hope that my ammeter on the lathe is sensitive enough to see the difference. Thank you for watching.